You're right about that, Amaya. Rain is coming overnight tonight. I'll have that for you in just a second. But looking at our current conditions, we're getting down towards freezing for quite a lot of the area. 35 here locally in Charleston. We're already down to 33 in Paris and in Terre Haute. And those conditions will only continue to drop as we move overnight. Overnight, 34 for your low overnight. We're going to be expecting to see that rain, as I told you before, coming in just about midnight, moving up in through the early morning at about 7 a.m. Here on your future cast, you can see here at 3 a.m. is when most of the bulk of the rain is going to be coming through the area. This is going to be a widespread system. Much of the area is going to be seeing a decent bit of rainfall, nothing more than about a tenth of an inch. But as we move throughout the morning, about 5 a.m., most of this will be out across from Illinois. Some of Vigo County may be still experiencing some rainfall by early morning, but by the time we get to the midday hours, we will not be expecting to see much rain. GFS projections currently are reporting only about an inch, and that's primarily for the northern and central parts of the viewing area. The more southern parts will not be seeing as much, which is a shame and unfortunate considering that a lot of the southern part of our viewing area is currently in a moderate drought. Looking at your daily breakdown for tomorrow, though, 43 for your daytime high. The winds will be shifting from the south to our west and up to the north. That's due in part to the low pressure system, bringing that rain through that will be shifting winds. And will, the temperatures will also be affected by the rain that we're seeing. Rain has a tendency to moderate temperatures, and we may have a chance of seeing some isolated showers throughout the daytime tomorrow. Looking at our future cast, we're going to be seeing some isolated showers move through in the early afternoon. Nothing too significant or widespread, but if you're going to be out and about tomorrow, it may be wise to look at that. But that these colder conditions will not be staying around. Tuesday, 43, mostly cloudy. Wednesday, 44, partly cloudy. And by the time we get to Thursday, we're going to be jumping up significantly 53 for your daytime high on Thursday. And that's due in part to what we're seeing in our upper level jet. We're currently sat underneath a trough of colder air. And this ridge of warmer air coming up from the Rockies will be moving eastward and will start to engulf our part of the country about Thursday. But as we continue to move throughout the next couple of days, a colder air trough will move through and that will be dampening temperatures out and through the weekend. That was a quick look at your Skywatch forecast. Have a great evening.